Howdy folks, Matt here with Gulf Coast Fit, accompanied by Danica and Andrea. And we're about to run through some partner core work. You could call it ab work, but really working the entire trunk in a kind of a global manner. And all you need is a partner and one or two light resistance bands. Since Andrea and Danica both have a light band, we'll put both of them to use, but you could get away with using just one band between two people potentially. So we're gonna do some plank variations and some Russian twist variations. And with these, we'll keep it to five exercises. With these five partner exercises, you really get a great, well-rounded core workout. And by core, I mean everything from your hip flexors, your glutes, your lats, your chest, your abs, serratus, obliques, and lower back. Uh, everything in the trunk that's not your extremities. So first thing we're gonna do is a partner plank row. So we're both gonna be doing a side plank. Danica's gonna be on her right side, right elbow down. Andrew's gonna be on her left side, left elbow down, facing each other. And what we're gonna do is loop these bands kind of around each other like this. All right, the top arm has the band, bottom elbow on the ground, so this elbow on the ground, this arm with the band. All right, now scoot away from each other so you have a good amount of tension. You wanna be parallel to each other. So like this, how you have it, yep. So we're doing a, a horizontal row towards us. Now, Andrea, scoot back even further. We want so that your arm is fully extended and we already have tension. All right, so we're both gonna come up into a side plank and let's get 15 rows together. And you see here, what's fun about these dynamic partner plank rows is that when we create tension, it's gotta happen simultaneously. So they really have to work together, stay in sync with each other. And that way they have to brace their side plank at the same time. Then I swing your arm in front of you a little bit. All right, keep going. You see, as the tension increases, they're forced to stabilize that side plank with their shoulder and their side trunk and the hips. And now a quick switch, so feet down here, torsos down there. So you simply flip over, so you're doing a side plank on the other side. All right, bust it out. See how they start with tension before the set starts. Ten to twenty reps will do it on something like this. Keep your hips up. There we go. Every time you row, remind yourself to lift the hips up, press your elbow down, and pay attention to your partner. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah. Great. Okay. <laughs> One for good measure. So we're gonna go from a horizontal, or a yeah, a horizontal row relative to your body in a vertical position to a vertical row, mimicking more of a single arm lat pull down. So now their heads are going to be closer together. Their feet are gonna be at opposite ends of the spectrum. So you're gonna face each other. Now with these pull down or with these pull down plank rows, we're going to keep the band on the same side. So Andrea's pulling with her right arm. Danica's pulling with her left arm. We're once again doing a single arm plank, but facing down now instead of a side plank. So we're gonna get 15 pull downs together. Make sure you scoot apart so that when your arms are fully extended, there's already tension to band. On our elbows? Yep, one elbow down. All right, plank, keep the hips level. 15 pull downs. Now what's challenging here, is you wanna remind yourself to level the hips out with every single row. Your hips gonna to wanna to shoot up Level it out, keep your bottom elbow, shoulder active, pressing into the ground. Top arm elevates and depresses, scapula. All right, switch sides. Let's scoot this whole operation this way. All right, make sure your arm up to make sure you've already got tension before this set starts. All right, and go. Something like this, a wider stance can make it a little bit more stable. Narrower stance, a little bit harder. We level hips and level shoulders. All right. Now, Danica and Andrea are very uh, receptive to training, so. Throw something at them we haven't done, but I want to 
included in this video. And that is a side plank chest press. So they're gonna be back in a side plank facing away from each other instead of towards each other. And they're gonna be pressing the band away from each other, working our pressing muscles instead of pulling muscles. Does that make sense? I'm going to lengthen the bands out a little bit since this is newer. So face that way with your right elbow down, face that way with your left elbow down. Hold onto this with the top arm. Hold onto this with the top arm. Andrew, let's scoot over there a little more. All right, so we are in a side plank position facing away from each other. Simultaneously chest pressing. I'll tell you when to start. You gotta really pay attention to the tension of your partner. All right, hips up and press together. One, two, feel the band now. Three, I'm gonna challenge you, feel it. Four, keep it slow. Hips up. In and out. In and out. We're on opposite pages right now. In and out. Yeah, in and out. That's a fun game to play, syncing it up with each other. Really forces you to pay attention to how much your muscles are being loaded. Great for your mind muscle connection. You want more? Oh. Alright, go and flip it over. As you can see, that's a, that's a good challenge. First time doing that, that's great. Alright, so swing your legs down here. Heads at the other end. Face it, face out. Alright, start with a little bit of tension, that way you can feel each other. Alright, hips up, ready, and press. Bring it in, press. Bring it in, press. Bring it in, press. Keep breathing, and press. Good. Five, keep going to 15. Two more, hips up. 15, all right, great. Nice, all right. Moving along from our plank variations, now we're gonna do some V-up position uh, partner drills, or we could call them a Russian twist, uh, a couple of Russian twist variations. So I'm going to double the bands up again. And you can play with the band tension however hard you need it. I just know what they're capable of, so I'm getting them where they need to be right out of the gate. So we can keep facing this way, good. Now, start with the band right in front of your sternum, both arms. There's already a good amount of tension. Now sit up nice and tall, press the band out in front of you. You're gonna lean back so that your feet almost come off the ground, but there's still a little pressure on the ground. So you're gonna find that balancing point. And now simultaneously, they're both going to twist away from each other, like a Russian twist. Let's both twist away from each other and bring it back in. Twist a little more, bring it back in. Now twist until the band touches your tricep. That's it, and back to neutral. Twist away, band touches tricep, back to neutral. The key here is to keep as little pressure on the feet as possible. Now keep working together, there's six, go to 15. Keep reminding yourself to lengthen your spine. Arm. See, the fists always stay right in front of the sternum. No matter where you go, sternum and fists are moving as one unit. And here in a second, we'll show you a view from the back when they flip around to do the other side. All right, good. Send it on around. So you start with the, with the fist tucked into your chest. Sit up nice and tall. Feet extended out. Press the band out. Lean back until your feet almost come off the ground. Now twist away from each other. Going to 15. They're twisting just until that band wraps around their tricep just a little bit. This is a half Russian twist or a partial Russian twist. Right here. All right, one more. All 
All right, sweet. Let's spin around one more time. The last exercise is a partner wood chop. Now this is a wood chop holding a V up position. Um, again, we could say this is a Russian twist variation, uh, but the objective here is really anti-rotation instead of actual rotation. It's kind of an isometric endeavor as far as the core goes. So we'll keep these bands doubled up. All right, we'll get up in the same setup position. Fist right in front of you. Tension already in the band. Press it out, sit tall, lean back until those feet almost come off the ground. And now one of you is gonna, Danica, reach up overhead, Andrea reach down in between your lap, and now switch it. So you see they're both doing wood chops simultaneously, but they're opposing each other. And what I like about this is whether you're going up or down, your partner's tension is trying to pull you over, trying to flex your spine laterally or twist your shoulders. You're not allowing that rotation. You're not allowing the lateral flexion. Anti-movement is the goal. So we spend a lot of time learning how to push resistance and push weights around. Here we're teaching our core to resist getting pushed around, which can be just as important. So up and down is one rep. We're going to 10 reps. Let's say we got You want to envision a straight line right in front of you dissecting your body from right side to left side and that's the line you're slicing up and down like they're about to slice me in half. Yeah. No, that's going to have, you're going to feel a lot of the hip flexors. You can put a little more pressure on the heels or you can just tuck the belly button in and try to keep your ass warm. But yeah, that's, that's totally common. Bring it in, tuck it out. All right, Danica, go up, Andrea, go down. We want the biggest vertical slice possible. When you reach up overhead, that's really the hardest part in my opinion. We do want to reach all the way overhead and avoid the lateral flexion. Danica said she feels a lot in her hip flexors. That is to be expected when you're holding a V up position. It is a lot of psoas, a lot of hip flexors, a lot of quads too for that matter. Uh, we can focus on tucking the belly button in, flexing your abs. You can put a little more pressure on your heels to alleviate the hip flexors. Uh, but just keep in mind, a lot of times uh, your weakness will, will become a little bit more prominent. So that tells us that that might be the weak link and that's where you're gonna feel it. Not a bad thing at all. All right, look good, nice work. So, that's it. <laughs>